This is our experimental setup for measuring the dielectric constant of a liquid. As you can see, we have a main unit which consists of an analog ammeter. Then we have a variable capacitor box. We have the capacitor and a beaker for holding the liquid. And the liquid over here is kerosene. And we have a manual which is very detailed and has all the procedure and the experimental details in it. This is our circuit diagram mainly. And we have to find out C1, C2 and C3 as given here. So let us proceed with the experiment. The detailed procedure is given along with observation tables for both solids and liquid. We have a separate uh, video for the solid part. This is for the liquid part. So now let us proceed with the experiment. First let us connect the variable capacitor. Let us switch on the, yeah. and let's set, uh, set the sensitivity to around let's say uh, 5 microampere. Once you set the sensitivity knob, you cannot change it uh, throughout the experiment. This is mainly used so that we get a uh, good result. It's used to set the range of the ammeter. So now we are changing the variable capacitor and we will note the maximum current. So this is the maximum current after which it starts to decrease. We don't have to note the current, we have to simply note the value of the picofarad from the variable capacitor box which is coming around 165 picofarad. We again change it uh, and keep it at 270. Now let us connect the test capacitor. So the previous value that we obtained uh, without the test capacitor was our value C1. Now C2 is the value with liquid, dielectric liquid in it. But uh, since we have a container and if we pour liquid in it, it will, uh, the liquid will be clinging to the capacitor. So we will first measure C3 in this case, which is without the dielectric. So we are now varying the variable capacitor to note the maximum current at resonance. So that is our value. So we are getting 90 picofarad. Now we'll pour the liquid, let it rest for a few seconds and then take the measurement again for the value of C2. Here we have kerosene as the dielectric medium. So now we will again vary the variable capacitor and note the capacitor for maximum current obtained in the micrometer. So this is the point where we are getting the maximum current and this corresponds to around 30 pf. So that is the value of C2 and we have already found out the value of C3 and C1. Now we simply have to put it in the formula for dielectric constant that is C1 minus C2 divided by C1 minus C3 and find out the dielectric constant for the liquid over here which is kerosene. That concludes our experiment. Thank you.